Hello and welcome to tonight's episode of the Group Therapy Podcast. Brandon has, has uh, graced us two weeks in a row now. Hello. And as always, the Group Therapy Podcast is brought to you by RU Game, the best comic book, video game, magic, movie, toy store in all of Pickle, Ohio. And especially DVDs right now, because aren't they on sale? DVDs are buy one, get one free until Christmas. DVD, Blu-rays and DVD box sets, and box sets mm. buy two, get one free. As always. All until Christmas. Until Christmas. Buy them in bulk, so you, you know, if, you're inter- if your internet ever goes out during this, you know, <laughs> this whole stay-at-home thing, you, you won't be bored. You got movies to fall back on. All right. Yep. And Are You Game is at... 124 North Sunset Drive, Piqua, Ohio, 45356, United States of America. And you're firing uh, off those finger guns. Boom, 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 finger like guns. Finger like you're a Wild West gunslinger. Finger guns. All right, tonight, Brandon wants to, brought this one. He wants to talk about something. Dad always talks about how, you know, the whole idea of like. N- being nerd is cool now. And I honestly think that nerd stuff entering the mainstream, you know, is a good idea. But, you know, it's always nice to see, you know, new people get into something. But then this also brings up the issue of what I refer to and what a lot of people refer to as gatekeepers. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I, your mom points out, that I am a, I, I've been a gatekeeper. I've been doing this for so long, and, and she and she goes, well, you know, I was in this. I was like, well, here's the thing. I I took her to Motor City Con. We hadn't been together six months when I took her to her first comic book convention. So this is in 1993 or 94, right around there. We went up to Motor City Con. She was like one of ten women at the convention that weren't back then what they called booth babes, which were the girls there just to sell product. Mm-hmm. And um, I think the, that's a whole other thing we'll go into later. But I've watched comic books go from when I was a kid, made fun of, I was tormented in school, um, you know, I was... You know, th- 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 being a comic book nerd and a, a sci-fi geek and loving Star Wars and stuff in the late 80s, early 90s was not cool. And it's funny now because I have people even as recently as, you know, a handful of years ago were like, oh, you're taking time off to go see a Marvel movie. And now they're like, oh, I've always been into this. I'm like, dude... A couple years ago, you were like making fun of me for taking a day off, so I could go to back back when midnight showings were an actual thing. You before they started actually showing at like seven o'clock on the Thursday before, mm-hmm. midnight showings were at eleven fifty nine. You had to show up at midnight you, for a midnight showing to go see the movie. Like I, me and your mom went and seen. Uh, episode one, two, and three, all midnight showings. Uh, the the Lord of the Rings movies, all midnight showings. Which, when you go see a three hour movie at midnight, That's... you get home. You get home at four o'clock in the morning. You're not getting up and going to work at six. I can put that there right here. And and none of these movies are short anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, none of the Marvel movies are short. None of the DC. None of the. And I go they and. Gotta be four hour long uh well, they either got to be four hour long nightmares or four hour long masterpieces and there is no in between but and here here's the thing though i would take the next day off work hmm. or when i worked third shift i took the day off work to go see because those like i said you know i my comic book shop it helps sponsor this show I sponsor. you own it. I own it. This, this everything is this. This this is me. The comic shop is me. I own everything. And it's it's 
being my own boss has, has changed a lot. I have to, you know, I can go and, and I take, because my, Thursday's my day off. Mm-hmm. I got I got Mark working there. Um, that's my day off. I get two days off a week. I get Thursday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, Sunday we're closed. Thursday I'm open, but I got somebody else working. Um, but I go to movies opening day, Thursday. Usually first showing. Mm-hmm. Because being in this industry and being in a comic shop, people will ruin it. Instantly. For instantly, I didn't get to see the first Avengers movie when it opened. I couldn't get the day off work. Hmm. Um, we were swamped at work. Everything I couldn't see it till that Sunday afternoon. Hmm. I knew everything that happened in that movie because no one would leave it alone, and I I didn't want to know. That's like literally the Mandalorian dropped this Friday. Mm-hmm. Okay. I watch it every Friday with your brother. Me and your mm-hmm. brother, when I get home from the shop... Usually I'm upstairs playing video games. We, we run in here. It's Mandalorian time. We push your mom out of the way. <laughs> and we watch The Mandalorian. And literally, there were people just ruining it. You couldn't be on social media. You couldn't, you know, read a news article or anything. Because there was somebody ruining... And I'm not going to ruin it for anybody. It's a damn good episode. That's the best thing I'm going to tell you. Is is a if you somehow haven't watched it, watch it. Watch it. It's a game changing episode. I'll, I'll tell you that much right there. And it was one of them episodes where me and Joe were like, oh, you know, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and that still doesn't give nothing away. But there'll be people who are just you know as loud as they can. Hey, so uh, you you, you Qui Gon dies at the end of the movie. Yeah, uh, he gets stabbed through by Darth Maul, but then Obi Wan comes in. And uh, slices him in half. Oh, you mean you haven't watched the movie yet? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for spoiling the movie. You can keep it down, though. Um, no, and, and that's the way it is. I have to go, and like I said, I and people make fun because I literally go first, as, as early showing as I can, I have to wait for your mom to get off work, so I go to like the 7 o'clock showing mm-hmm. on Thursday. We come home, we eat dinner, we, we go down there. Sometimes I catch up, Mark catches up with us, you know, because I'll let him close the shop early if mm-hmm. it's slow day. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a, I'm an awesome boss and will let his employee leave early to go see a Marvel movie, a Star <laughs> Wars movie, a DC movie. Um, even but, if that movie's horrendous. Yeah, even if the movie's bad. I don't know how many <laughs> movies me and Mark have gone and seen and, and it was horrible. But, you know, we went and seen them. Especially when we had uh, Movie Pass. <laughs> movie Pass. Such a great idea. Let's great idea a, for the consumer. Dude. It made no money, but by God, we got to watch a lot of free I movies. I saw a lot of movies for 10 bucks a month. I was going three to four times a week. And the only reason I didn't go more, there'd be days where I'd look at, your mom was asleep, everybody else was asleep in the house, I'd go, Mark, what you doing? And he's like, nothing. I was like, let's go to the movies. And we'd drive to the movies. <laughs> Please, and, bring back movie pass. It, yeah, that's a thing that will never happen. Now now we, I want, please bring back movies. Um <laughs> But no, I get, I get, and to go back to the gatekeeper thing, I do get a little gatekeepery. I, I am very much against um, people who use the fact that now, now suddenly it's cool to be geeky, you know, to, to, to milk other geeks. Yeah. Um, to be like, hey, buddy, we, you know, we were always, you know, reading comic books. Let me five hundred dollars. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've got that too. By the way, um, I won't, I won't say any names, but I literally, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I do a decent living, running my own business, have my own business, whatever. Um, I will help people out. I enjoy helping people out. I have given to so many, helped raise money for so much stuff. I've given people money. It's, it's when. Somebody pops up on Facebook I haven't seen in 25 years and starts chatting me up, blah, 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 blah. And then like a couple weeks go by and hey, man, I'm broke. Can you loan me some money? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I haven't seen you in 25 years. Suddenly you show up asking me for money? No. But, you know, if you come by my shop every week, you know how many times I've loaned people money to, to make sure that they can make it through the week? A lot. A lot. It's like and, and spread the wealth, baby. It's, yeah, wealth. I'm not wealthy, <laughs> by the way. Um, but no, I, I I I take pride in in helping my fellow man and helping my yeah. friends out. That's a good thing to do. It's but, good to be nice to people. But you know, the, my problem is is that you get, 
and I'm not going to say any names. There's these people on YouTube. There's people on, um, you know, going to conventions and stuff like that. Um, there's cosplayers dressed up as a character created by an artist at a convention. And the cosplayer is getting more attention than the guy who actually created the character mm. who that bothers me a little mm. bit. And I get people, but you know, there's other ones out there that, you know, milk that whole thing. They're, they're, they're there to basically they, they're like, you know, I'm a semi attractive girl. I'm a nerd now. Look at me. I collect comic books and stuff like that. That's now I have a web, you know, I have a, 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 a YouTube channel. Look at me. I talk about the, this book and this comic book I happen to read now. Okay. If you were, if you were a nerd from day one, everything I, I'm, I'm all for it. Feel free. But I have, I hate trying to like the ones who like, you know, Oh, I have a wish list on Amazon. Yes, you know what? I wish I had things too, but I'm not ever going to put a wish list. No matter how, if, if if this thing takes off and I make it and I get famous and people want to, I will not. No way will I ever put a wish list out there. And go, these are the gifts I want. Send them to me. Oh, send me an Amazon gift card. Whatever. That that's not cool, man. If you if you want to, out of the kindness of your own heart, send somebody something. A gift. You know, okay. There's okay. a difference between getting a gift and asking for a gift. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I am no way asking for a gift. Okay, th this is gonna be this. This is gonna. I'm. I, I was being a jerk to my to my best friend. Not really jerk. I was messing with him. Best friends rib each other. Yeah, I, I gave Mark crap. Um, we were bidding on a, a, a comic book au auction, and one of the books that he wanted. Was the penance number one um, from Marvel from a few years ago, where, mm -hmm. where uh, Speedball became penance, mm -hmm. and uh, Civil War. Yeah, we, we we joke around about always bidding over so that the other one can't get it. <laughs> so I went, and it was like it was a super cheap book. Mark bid two dollars. I bid three and won it. <laughs> I'm legit gonna just give it to Mark. I paid three dollars just to give this to somebody. <laughs> To be a, to, for a joke, and it's you know, but that that's what we do. Yeah, I was gonna say is like that. I'm not saying that 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 isn't an issue with the whole idea of like milking nerds, but like on the flip side, there like that the paranoid belief that like everyone is looking out for that kind of leads into like what my problem is with the whole idea of gatekeeping, because. You know, someone new comes along is like, you know, hey, you know, I'm a little bit of a fan of this, but I want to get into more stuff. And then suddenly they're hounded by hounded by guys who are like, well, you think you're a fan? Like, read off like 20 miscellaneous facts about Greedo from the Expanded Universe. Well, well what's that? You never read anything from the Expanded Universe? Fuck you. You're not a real fan. Yeah. And it's like that kind of like, you talk about, you know, the, the gamer girls and whatnot. I hear all kinds of experiences about women who are, like, legitimately harassed. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. like, nerds are just, like, hyper fixated, you know? They're just like, oh, they have to be, like, oh, they have to be, you know, it, they're, they're, they can't be a real nerd. This well, woman is here for some kind of... They're here for their boyfriend. They're here for their husband. They're here for their kids. Your mom gets it. Your mom's the gamer of the two of us. She likes video games. I... I don't mind. I enjoy playing a video game here and there, but I don't get to play. You're more of a movie nerd. I'm a movie comic book and 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 uh, 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 yeah. Game, uh, pen and paper nerd. Yeah, um, I enjoy sitting down and playing a video game. Literally, I just spent a ton of money to buy a arcade one up. Uh, ton of money. We bought it on. Uh, we we bought it from a guy who says he bought it from the drummer from Breaking Benjamin. No, bought it from a no. That's not the way we got it from. We got it from another guy. Oh. We got it from the same guy, but not not that. He he got it from somewhere else. But no, I got that. Um, I like playing arcade games, stuff like that. It's fun. I'll play them for a while, and then I'll, they'll go upstairs, and then they'll get put in your guys' rooms upstairs. Um, but your mom has literally gone to like, you know, GameStop. 
to buy a game. And they're like, oh, you buying this for your husband? No. You, are you buying it for your kid? She's like, no, I, 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 I like Fallout. You know, it's like, <laughs> and, you know, your mom loves Fallout. Your yep. mom loves Fallout, and she loves Final Fantasy VII. Mm-hmm. So and, you got uh, Final Fantasy VII for her. For yeah, her, bought, I bought her the Final Fantasy. Yeah, for uh, anniversary, I believe. Yeah, I think it was the anniversary. Yeah, it was this year. So. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you know, stuff like that. Tina is a. She's, she's where a, I got my gaming from. Yeah, you know. She's she's a she's also a nerd. She's a, she's a Saturday morning cartoon nerd like I am, but she isn't as big as one. She likes certain ones, you know. But she she grew up and she was a uh, big fan of Gem. So this you year get her Gem stuff. I got her. I got. I legit bought my wife Gem and Pizzazz from the Gem and the Holograms dolls <laughs> because. It's something like now she's no no the other thing is she's a huge Wizard of, Wizard of Oz nerd and I get her all the Wizard of Oz comics, I get her the toys, I get her the movies. She's got VHSs, she's got DVDs. She's Pretty got, sure she's yeah. got the 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 record that has like the uh, the musical yeah, yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, I have on. I have the I bought her the soundtrack on vinyl, um, but you know and yeah, there's people who look at her and go, well, are you buying that for your your husband? You buying that for your yeah. kid? You buying it for you buying it for someone. It's like, it's, but yeah, there's like a lot of like, you know, you're allowed to have that opinion, but you got to watch like, you know, cause you got, you got to watch, you know, spreading that sentiment around. Cause like, like I said, that hurts, you know, a lot of people when you, the whole idea of, you know, the fake nerd. And no, I'm not saying they're, you know, you know, th- that's, that's the only problem I have is, is there are fake nerds out there. Who are only there to make a dollar off of real, you know, geeks? They're 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 out there to you know, um, you know. It's like I I despise the TV show Big Bang Theory mm-hmm. with a passion. I think it's garbage. That, that is the epitome of the fake nerd. Yeah, that's that's legit. None of them people are. None of those people that were on that show as the main cast were into any of that stuff. And I know I do, I do have a lot of respect for Jim Parsons because they're hey man want to come back for Big Bang Theory and Jim Parsons is like no well, we'll offer you a butt ton of money no <laughs> and that's why Big Bang Theory was canceled what <laughs> I you know Sheldon the, himself was the, like the, no I the, don't want to be a part of this the thing is I I thought if you're gonna make a Big Bang Theory show with nerds about you know supposed to be about nerds you know by nerds. You think that you would have brought in, like, you know, I yeah, they had Will Wheaton on there as Will Wheaton, but I think Will, I Wheaton, like Will Wheaton... Will Wheaton? I don't like Will Wheaton. Well, I, don't, I don't like him. But, but no, I think you should have brought real nerds in to play the nerds. Should nerd. have Vin Diesel show yeah, up. Yeah, Vin Diesel. We're going to play some dude. Yeah. He'd be like, he, in full Riddick gear, and he's like... I rolled a sneak. <laughs> and then, uh... The dark. My favorite. <laughs> Roll the backstab. <laughs> because I'm I'm the character from uh, Last Witch, Witch uh, Hunter. That's that's my that's my DM character. Uh, well, what's funny is is that if you go watch Triple uh, X, his name that he has tattooed across his abs uh-huh. is his D&D character. It's like Malik or something like that. <laughs> But oh yeah, yeah, it's it's, and it's great because there are real nerds out there who are real comic book geeks, and you know, one of the, one of the funniest things is I've been to I've been to Chicago one year when uh, I think it was Chicago, it might have been Atlanta, but got the full Jamie Heineman going on. Yeah, Nick Cage was there. Nick Cage was there buying comics. He was there, and he had, a, he had people like flocking around him. Everybody's like, Terry's taking pictures and stuff. It's Nick Cage trying to buy comics. Nicholas at, Cage is a hu- like was a huge like his Ghost son, Rider fan. That's his, why he was in Ghost Rider. His son's a uh, Cal L Cage, <laughs> and his other son's uh, Christian uh, Christian Cage. Christian Cage. <laughs> but like he like 
He has a does he have like a ghostwriter? I think it's on. I think it's on his. I think it's on his. That they had to digitally they, edit out. Yeah, they got of they, the ghostwriter movie. Yeah, the ghostwriter had a ghostwriter tattoo. They had to digitally edit out of the ghostwriter movie. <laughs> like that movie is unintentionally funny. It is one I, of them so bad it's good kind of movies. Oh my in my God. opinion, I love the first Ghost Rider movie. It's so silly. It's and so goofy. Nick, and Nick oh. Cage is a great bad actor. Oh yeah, but. Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance was visually cooler looking Ghost Rider. But just not as fun. But not as fun. Because the burnt skull, because mm. when he was Ghost Rider at first, when he was like clean white skull on fire, but in the second one, he had that burnt skull look mm. and the bike, and then he kept everything he jumped on turned into a hell version of that. Mm. So when he took the big land, the big uh, excavator, mm. that was badass. I'm not going to lie. That was fucking cool. Um, but the, like pissing fire, that was dumb as shit. Um, but you know what's awesome? What? I've been to Nick Cage's gravesite. Oh yeah, his, uh, his, 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 uh, the in, one he has, uh, in New Orleans. In advance. Yeah. Hmm. No, 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 that's, it's a big knows, marble pyramid in the middle of the cemetery. Everyone knows he's a vampire and that's where he goes, just goes to sleep. <laughs> Have you seen? <laughs> he's like, D- do you remember that movie? I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. <laughs> but. Where he played, Nick Cage is also great, legitimately great playing crazy people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, go go see Mandy and uh, um, go watch uh, Color Out of Space. I was or, gonna, or or better yet, go watch Raising Arizona. I was going to say, uh, what was what was the movie where, about the parents that get a virus that make them want to kill their kids? Mom and Dad. Yeah, uh, he was in that, and he's great in that. Um, but yeah, you know, you got you got real legit, like like Olivia Munn, mm-hmm. Olivia Munn. Went from G4, Attack of the Show, one of the best shows ever. And by the way, I know they're bringing back G4. I'm just going to throw this out there. If you want to hire people to be on G4, I will totally do it for free. <laughs> I can be the old man that tells you how old stuff, how stuff used to be better in the day. The, the, the grumpy old nerd. Who's... A grumpy old, I can be grumpy old nerd corner or something on a new Attack of the Show. Um, but... You know, if you read Olivia Munn's book, Suck It, Wonder Woman, Mm -hmm. that's, I mean, to be, you know... I honestly think that when she was on the show, she was, like, kind of, like, you know... I don't think the producers would let her get away with, you know... Oh, yeah, because... They had had an image of Olivia Munn that they wanted to protect. mm -hmm. Uh, Kevin Pereira knew he could just get away with shit. Oh, yeah, I always liked Kevin Pereira because he would just go up like this and pull the thing out. Take your piece out, throw it out (laughs) over his back. And then he was doing a bit. And then he's like, oh, I better stop. I can hear him yelling at me from my back. (laughs) Well, go watch. There's a great documentary on uh, YouTube. I don't know who put it out, but it's like the last days of G4. And it talks about uh, um, um, Attack of the Show. Mm -hmm. It talks about uh, what was the one with uh, um, uh, Morgan Webb and... Uh, X-Play. X-Play. They talk about the old dude who gets... If you watch very closely, you can watch him get fired live on the air. Because he's sitting there, and as the show's ending, you know how they still had the, the, the credits running over? All of a sudden, you see him go, and he looks over, and that's him getting fired, <laughs> And this is him talking about getting fired, so. But, but uh, you like, know. When Olivia Munn is allowed to be herself and be, you know, she can be legitimately charismatic and funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I, the one who, like, when she was cast for Psylocke, she was the one who pushed for... The the, 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 the actual proper costume, costume yeah, because uh, it was originally just gonna be black, but she pushed for the, the uh, proper color, so the yeah. costume. And, and uh, what she said, she and had so, to be like like ky jellied into her costume every day. <laughs> yeah, um, that's uh, yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's that's a. It sounds like what would happen if they made a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure live action movie. <laughs> They did. Uh, apparently, uh, it was uh, part four. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a live Diamond action. Diamond Unbreakable, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. It's, I, uh, I hear it's actually really good. Yeah, you know what? Uh, they, <laughs> Jotaro's actor, to get like the hair effect for his hat, <laughs> like he's like bald and he like has like a fucked up hair where it's just this is his hair and here is bald and it's great. Well, what I think, what, what, this is another thing, is, is, is um, people who hate stuff just to think they're cool. 
like the people who hate on the new Star Wars stuff. Like the people who hate on the, like, the DC movies. You're allowed to have an opinion of things. You're yeah. allowed to... There's... But for some reason, there's a lot of people out there where it's just like, I have to hate this. And I have to find a way so... For, like, I have to justify why I hate this so I can call people who like it idiots. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, it also kind of goes into that gatekeeping argument. That's what I'm saying. Know, that's that's what I'm saying. It's 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 like okay. I, I I I some of the Disney Star Wars stuff is hit and miss. Yeah, right? I mean, I loved Rogue One and I love Solo. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know people who hate Solo. I they, Rogue they th- One was fun. I right? love Rogue One. Rogue mm-hmm. One is like number two, you know, or three. Mm-hmm. It's literally Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars: A New Hope, Rogue One. Return of the Jedi, in that order, and and that's that's saying a lot because mm-hmm. I, but you know, and but there's people who legit just hate on those new movies, and I, I'm not gonna say. Here's my problem with the new movies: I don't hate on them. They're popcorn movies. Mm-hmm. They don't have. They're, they're definitely made because Disney wants the money. Yeah, Disney, they, they, they don't. Disney ha- has Star Wars. They need to profit off Star Wars. I think I think Rogue One had a passion behind it. Mm-hmm. Solo had a passion behind it. You had Ron Howard, who really liked the subject, mm-hmm. who did well after the other guy left. He you could tell he went in there and he, he tried. Um, I think, you know, with J.J. Abrams, I'm not saying he doesn't have a love for Star Wars, but I'm saying that that he just wants to make a big blockbuster movie that people will go see. Mm-hmm. And I went and seen him. I didn't hate him. I, I thought they were you know good. Yeah, but, the, talking but, about the the Star Wars sequel trilogy is like it's a dumpster fire. No matter what you're yeah, getting into it, because yeah. you're gonna have people who are like, "This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks." I I just think that they 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 mm-hmm. okay. You had all these movies to build up all these characters, and then they tried to hurry these new characters through. Mm-hmm. And if you read the books and stuff, like Poe has a great backstory. Uh, 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 awesome backstory, upon. but it's not touched upon at all in the movies, and I think it should have been because it would have made the second movie make so much sense. Because um, like, I got a lot of people who like the first movie, love the fir- love the second movie, uh, hate it. the the one opinion that everybody seems to agree on though is that the Last Jedi is uh, not the Last Jedi, uh, uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker is easily the worst out of the trilogy. But the worst the part, weakest movie, the yeah, the worst one is. I thought that was the most fun movie. It's definitely the eight, stupidest. It's 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 a popcorn movie. It is a summer popcorn movie. But literally, I have customers who come in who will freaking fight you tooth and nail to um, that that is that 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 Disney has destroyed Star Wars. I'm like, then don't watch Mandalorian, don't watch Clone Wars, and don't watch Rebels, because. You watch any of those three, you will know that Star Wars is alive and well. It's just on TV. (laughs) It's streaming. Um, Star Wars has always thrived. Because, like, for the longest time, it was just the original trilogy and then the prequel trilogy. Star Wars has always thrived from its expanded universe. The the side content. Dude, I grew up when all you had for expanded universe... Was you know Splinter, Splinter in the Mind's Eye? Pay Alan Dean Foster. Um, the 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 Han Solo books, the uh, um, um, the Lando Calrissian books, the and you had the Marvel Star Wars series, and then that ended in you know, and it you didn't get nothing for what like ninety two, and then you got Dark Empire. And you got the Thrawn trilogy, mm-hmm. and then there was uh, Shadows of the Empire. Yeah, which, and you had Shadows which, of the Empire, which is now not canon, and it kind of sucks that that's not canon. So break, make Dash Rendar canon. Oh, dude, I I, I want um, he will dash your hopes away and render I, you. I want unconscious. I want Shizor. Uh, they they inter- Shizor. Yeah, they they introduced the Falin the Faleen, mm-hmm. and they introduced them in uh. uh the 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 mm-hmm. rebel series but and clone wars but you know it's there was so much good stuff out there as i'm sitting here trying to look for 
Star Wars books. Behind me, I literally have like stacks. I think all, that's all this is Star Wars books. Yeah, mo- yeah, and and I don't have any of the of the Disney stuff. It's all up to the There's Red uh, Harvest, uh, Darth Pl- uh, Plagueis. Uh, uh, the, he's got the Star Wars uh, Death Trooper stuff, the, the Star Wars zombies. Yeah, and they're closer to Necromorphs from Dead Space. Yeah, and then I've got I think this one. Um, I got a copy of Dark. Oh yeah, signed by Kevin J. Anderson. Cool. My signed copy of Dark Saber. Never trust a hut. Um, but you know, this is what you had for the longest time. This was your Star Wars. Dark Horse Comics took it over and they ran with it and gave us a lot of good stories. They gave us some garbage. Don't get us wrong. Mm-hmm. There's some not good Dark Horse comic stuff out there. Anything that made Jedi like Dragon Ball Z power level is just hilarious. And <laughs> mm. kind of, in my opinion, just kind of like, def- like it kind of weakens Star Wars a bit if you're going to like make the Jedi like Dragon Ball Z power level. Like, well, the, the, but. You know, I know. It's just like, how are they wiped out if <laughs> they were this if Jedi how could they, uh, they get... <laughs> obliterate a planet? And um, well, here, here, here it is. We're going back to the gatekeeper thing. Okay. Is um, I love Star Wars. I will always love Star Wars. I, I mean, there's Darth Vader and clone troopers. I have Boba Fett's and and Django, Django Fett's and. Stormtroopers. I have a full set of Shadow Trooper armor. Yep. I. It takes him a while to get it dressed, and he has to have help to put it on. Yeah, and and and. If you uh, saw a Stormtrooper walking around on Halloween, uh, during trick or treat in Pickwell, Ohio, that was him yeah, right there. That was funny because I kept hearing about the Stormtrooper <laughs> and uh, here in Pickwell, and that was me. Um. I didn't. You, I can, Trooper revealed. I can. I can love Star Wars. To me, the last three Star Wars movies were no different than the Fast and the Furious movies. Mm. I will watch the Fast and Furious. I like watching Fast and Furious movies. They're dumb as shit. Oh yeah, yeah, but they're dumb fun. They're dumb fun, and and The Rock is awesome. Yeah, and The Rock is is pretty much good in everything. Vin, he does. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Yeah. Vin Diesel can make a bad movie pet watchable. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. He's not Idris Elba, and he's not. <laughs> Ken Watanabe, yeah, um, who can make about any movie they're in great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yet again, Idris Elba was great in Ghost Rider: Spirits of Vengeance. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's people who just hate to be hating. Like there, it's in, new, therefore it's bad. Okay, there's there's the people who hate on Marvel movies. They're like, oh, that's just the lowest common denominator. I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, these are well thought out movies. With an overlying story arc over ten years, how like, it's pretty it's pretty cool that they my my complaint about the Marvel mu- movies is that Disney's using them to get richer than God, and I, indi- the individual movies I like, but the business model of like making movies to make an infinite amount of money, like they're always putting out content for it, always making, and it's like. See, I, I'm happy. I grew up in a day where there wasn't comic book movies. Mm. You got your Superman movies. You got your Batman movies. No one else. And that was pretty much it. You got you, you maybe got a low budget uh, you got Captain lo- America. You got a low Nick budget Fury, Captain Fury America movie. movie. You got the made for TV movies that Marvel did. You got the Generation X. You got your your, your uh, Nick Fury Nick starring Fury. David Hasselhoff. You got your. Um, <laughs> Uh, your Spider-Man TV series from the 70s with the live action, and you had your Hulk with Lou Ferrigno and, and Bill Bixby. Then you had the ones where they tried to make um, spin-offs when they tried to introduce Thor and Daredevil. And then we were supposed to get the trial of the, the death of the Hulk, which was supposed to introduce She-Hulk, which completely got thrown out the window. Um, we had the Doctor Strange live action movie. We had a... Um, Before the Marvel that, movies, there were there were the animated straight directed DVD. Oh yeah, which was, a lot of them were really pretty good. Watch Hulk versus Wolverine. Yes, and that's, Hulk, that's like my Hulk favorite. Versus Thor. That's my favorite one out of like some of the. That's my favorite Marvel animated movie. No, the uh, Planet Hulk was really good too. Yeah, except for which which we, we didn't get we didn't get the Savage Surfer, but we got Beta Ray Bill, Bill, who I think fits. Yeah, better. I think he fits the story better. Yeah, um, but. 
Okay, you know, right you there. get you get like I said, you legit get the people who just hate because they they think it. it you but either also get the they ones hate that uh, there's a black man in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's just also a whole lot of unbridled racism. Oh, too. So, I'm not it, saying everyone who hates the movies is racist, but from what well, I'm I'm looking at ex- from experience here, a lot of people really did not like the fact that. Uh, John, Bo- I can't pronounce his last name. John Boyega. Uh, the running Boyega, joke. Uh, Boyega. Yeah. Is that they did not like that he was black and in Star Wars. Yeah. There can only be one black man in Star Wars, and there can only be one woman. You can only have Princess Leia. So and you can you only got have... enough women in Star Wars. Why do you? Why do you need more representation? But and and that's another thing is is that I just and don't get me wrong, I didn't think. Ray was a horrible character. I just thought she wasn't well written. I think mm-hmm. Daisy Ridley did a fine job. Same way with Rose Tran for uh, um, uh, Rose. T- or, uh, I think the thing that hurt, like, really kind of sucks, is that a lot of racist people complained about Rose, and then they won because she was practically written out of that last movie. Yeah, because they inter- sucks. they introduced John Boyega's new girlfriend. He goes after a girl in every one. He goes after Ray in the first one. Like, he goes after like, Rose he, in the second We should have got a movie about black Jedi, storm, former stormtrooper Jedi. Dude, I would love to see a Finn movie. Have him this, out, have him, because th- this is what I want to happen. I want the... Co- is cool. I want those guys to He's go... He's like my favorite character in the whole of the sequel trilogy. I like Poe. I, like po, I like Poe Dameron if you go into his backstory. Mm-hmm. That he was a previous... If he's just the movie Poe. No. If but, you get if you get the Poe Dameron from the books and the movie and and the comic books and the books, you get a badass character who has a shady backstory. Who's he was a, interesting? Yeah, he's super interesting. I mean, but in the movies, he's a snarky guy. Yeah, he's a snarky guy. Yeah, snarky also, guy. Also, uh, I love that Poe and Finn's uh, Poe's actor. I can't remember his name. And John, or like just openly, like yeah, we were trying to make our <laughs> romance very. Yeah, Oscar <laughs> Isaac. Uh, so they they were openly like, yeah, we were trying to be pretty homo. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, Disney wouldn't let us, but we were trying. <laughs> Disney was like, no homo. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just put these background characters be, and then, but none of the main characters are. Then they edit them, so they could edit them out for the Chinese release. Yep. <laughs> I don't even get it, because if you're in space, it's really gender a thing because you how do you know a twilight has the same compatible parts <laughs> it's because they have the boobs it doesn't mean nothing <laughs> child you're going to have to come over here and you're in my star wars man you're just taking it away and <laughs> oh and your mountain doing doritos <laughs> I don't like to eat black. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I did watch when you say that because people can take stuff out of context. Uh oh. Um, but no, I, I I'm love. Not racist. Yeah, when I'm not racist. I like. Every racist John Boyega is great. I yeah. love him in freaking Attack the Block. He's, that's like I, his first big role, and it's like he's great in that movie. He, watch Attack the Block. Yeah, so Attack the Block is. I, phenomenal movie. The guy who made Attack the Block made another movie. Uh, the Kid Who Would Be King, I think. Yeah, which is not very good. Oh, you didn't like it? I think. Mm. I, I, I heard good thing. I, I heard. I, I follow I, Edgar Wright on Twitter. He my, said it was good. <laughs> mine is that I, I kind of watched it while I was doing stuff. Mm. So I need to sit down and watch it. Watch it. So don't get me wrong. It may be a brilliant movie. I just didn't get around. I, I'm not going to lie. I finally recently got to sit down and watch Hateful Eight straight mm. through. All three mm. hours of it. And because I would get up and do stuff. Because this is a long movie. I didn't get to see it in the theater because your mom doesn't do that long in theaters. Um, so I went and finally just watched it all in one setting. Just all three hours of it, one setting. And it, it's it's kind of funny because you watch it and you watch it and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's... But, like I said, we, we, we get back to the characters from Star Wars and stuff like that. You get a lot of people who, list, you know, hate on Poe. They hated on Finn. They hated on Rey. 
They I, didn't like them because they were new. Yeah, they didn't like them. I feel bad. You know who I feel bad for out of the entire Star Wars series? Jake Lloyd and Ahmed Best. Oh, God. Those oh. two people got crucified because they you were look a little into kid. the Ahmed Best story. It's horrible. That, that dude, guy was suicidal. The, the, the oh, freaking God. Jake Lloyd quit acting. Because he hated how people treated him. He was a little... Was he like nine? Dude, Vince is n- is ten. If Vince was ever in a movie and people were like, he's fucking horrible, I'm going to punch him in the face. I mean, like, he was a little kid. You know? That's messed up. But, you know, and, and the dialogue wasn't the greatest, and he did the best he could as being a little kid. But, you know, I'm at... You be- expect a little kid to be able to... Uh deliver lines like you're an angel well like come on my, my favorite like, one was somebody put on the on the internet the other day and it was it had him goes are you an angel and she goes no and he's like you will be <laughs> and it was the, the, the text from Yoda <laughs> but it, it's 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 just funny on, on the people's hate on these characters have like ruined people's lives it's like it, say what you will about the prequels their reception killed George Lucas's passion for filmmaking. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of sad, because, like, he understands what made the prequels bad and why people didn't like them. He's mm-hmm. like, you know, he's like, he understands that people were yes-men. He understands that he's, you know, he's not really a good scriptwriter. The man can be a really good filmmaker. Like... I think that, that, that George Lucas has a vision. And if... Somebody else wrote his... If he just went and he goes, okay, this is That's what I what want happened. to happen. This is what I want to do. This That's is what, what I... happened with... Ha, he, when he lets... When he sort of adds like sort of like his baseline George Lucasness. Mm-hmm. That's what how stuff like Clone Wars happens. Yeah. And it's great. he was involved... He's still involved with stuff like The Mandalorian and uh, Clone Wars and it's uh, Rebels. Yeah. Because Filoni was, was uh, George Lucas's right-hand man. Mm-hmm. Um... But then we get into, you know, but, okay, okay, then you get going with Star Trek. Like, I was going to say, like, I want to bring up one more thing about Lucas. He sold Star Wars to Disney because Disney, he wanted to start pursuing more independent projects for filmmaking, Mm -hmm. and he sold Lucasfilm to Disney so the people he knew and were friends with wouldn't, like, if he had, like, a bad, if he made another stinker and they lost money... He knew that they would still have their jobs if, you know. Mm-hmm. He, and also, he donated a good chunk, a huge chunk of that Disney money to charity. Yep, yeah. He's, 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 uh... Well, everybody used to joke around, but he got married and had to sell his Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously, like, you know. Oh, yeah. And, and... I know, I doubt you're watching this, Mr. Lucas, but... Keep... Just... I, I, and, and like I said, I, I do... And will always love Star Wars. I will, when I die. You're probably going to be. Uh, we're going to burn your bo- corpse like uh, like they did to Vader. Vader. Well, <laughs> I, I always tell everybody I'm going to have a funeral pyre, and the funeral pyre is going to be my comic boxes with me <laughs> propped up on top, just everything lit up because I'm taking it with me. Um, <laughs> except for that, that <laughs> that's that, going to that's, jail. that's that's going that stays in the family. Yeah. So. You know, everybody gets, you know, he got, he got shit on, you know, he got, and, and it's people sucking the fun out and it's, it's people not nerds just are vile when they're angry. Oh dude, it is, is, is like the, the, the a nerd's worst, a, a, a comic geek, geek, a nerd, Star Wars fans, worst enemy is themselves. Mm-hmm. All right. But we're going to get ready to transition. So. We're going to put a commercial right here, so... We'll be right back back. after this. Um. I'm Officer Barry, the magic policeman. And this is my friend, Nacho. Hello. We've asked our friend, Officer Shaky, to join us for safety tips on earthquakes. I am Shaky. A children's safety police robot. I work the kids' detail. Earthquakes can be scary for kids. 
Earthquake, earthquake. Go under a table or desk or in a doorway. Never near windows. It's good to plan ahead by making sure you have extra food and water. You also need a flashlight. Don't panic. Be prepared. Safety isn't magic. It's real. Live long and safe. And now back to more Superstars fun with those lovable characters, Porky and his friends. Don't go away. Porky and his friends will return after these messages. We hey. now return to the Group Therapy TV podcast. <laughs> All right. And the other one is is uh, Star or Star Trek. Star Trek's not as bad, but you still got those people who... Trekkies are a little more chill. But there are people who... But they're better at hiding their rage. Oh, man. I remember when Next Generation came out. Mm -hmm. And the original Trek fans were not having it. They're like, no. Uh -uh, we're not going to have this dandy Captain British guy. You know, Captain Picard is my Cap favorite Captain. Captain Picard. Freaking Patrick Stewart. Will He's one of my other ones. You could put Patrick Stewart... In a bad movie, and he will be the best thing in a bad movie. He was the best thing in uh, the original Dark Phoenix, and uh, he was barely in it. <laughs> yep. Um, Him and Hugh Jack Hugh Jackman. He was the best thing in uh, X Men Origins. Huge jacked man. Um, hmm. We need someone to play this. Uh, we need someone to play this Wolverine character. We need someone who's huge and jacked, man. I am just the person for you. <laughs> no, no. Well, well, no. Here, here's what it, here's what what it was because everything that was was changed about that is they're like, we need a we need to this we need a character to play Wolverine. Okay, how tall is he? He's like five three. Okay, he's like three hundred pounds, all muscle. Huh. Okay. He's, he's also a short Canadian man. He's, with a he's gruff Canadian voice. and he's got like a Clint Eastwood vibe going on and he's gruff and he's stuff like that. Okay. Um I know what we can do. Um six foot three Australian musical guy. That that'll be perfect. And he was. <laughs> That's there are certain people, and the I love was, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is great as Wolverine, and he's he has so much fun. Oh yeah, Hugh Jackman like, just Whoa. loves being Wolverine, and you you know when a person likes playing a character, you know that's like you see Tom Holland. Tom Holland's having a blast being Spider Man, even if you even if you're not a fan of the new Spider Man movies. I like Tom Tom I like, Holland. I like Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland is. He's a pretty good young Parker. Yeah, he's he's very good young Parker. I just wish they would let. Was it um, Stanley and John Romita goes? You gotta let Peter Parker graduate high school. He goes. Peter Parker was only in high school for for just a, not very long mm -hmm. in the comics, mm -hmm. and then he went off to college. Then he became a you know. Now he's a man. Now with he's a wife. Yeah, and a child. It depends on which comics you read. I'm read a big Spider Girl. Um, uh, Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. The great storyline exists in the universe where um, where the the one more day thing never happened. <laughs> but if only that was the mainline universe. But going back to Star Trek, I remember every time a new Star Trek series came out, the previous Star Trek people would get pissed. He's like, you dare bring something new to us? Oh man, when 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 they brought out Trek two thousand eight, mm -hmm. with Pine and and Urban and Zadania and and you know all them, people were upset. People were original Star Trek fans were pissed. I knew a guy I worked with who was like, I'm not going to see that. That's not he. It's not you know. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like. Dude, it looks great. And then I went and seen it and was like, I saw that movie because that was the summer of the drive-in. Mm. We went to the drive-ins a lot that summer. Yeah. And uh, we would go. Yeah, we were there too. Yeah. We were. And I saw that movie like five weeks in a row because 
we would go, and it was always the last... A- Abrams is really good at making a visual spectacle. Oh, yeah. My only problem is that when I went and seen uh, uh, Into Dark, uh, Into Darkness, mm. the second one, too many lens flare, and I went and seen it in 3D, I had a horrible headache. Mm. Massive headache. But I really liked that movie. I enjoyed... Like, it's not without its fault, but no, it's a no. fun popcorn movie. Yeah, they're, they're fun popcorn movies who really take umbrage... They're, 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 I, I like that they're in they, al- they're they, literally an alternate timeline. They embrace, they 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 take the Star Trek and they go, okay, we're gonna give you a hug, and we're gonna hold on to you because we know that we're still part of you, and it's like they hold on to that. But I knew, but like it's cool. It liter- the first movie is literally the, about the fact that it's an alternate timeline because mm-hmm. there's old Spock and young Spock. Yep. Because old like. Old Spock was briefly trapped in this alternate history where, uh, where, uh, pl- uh, crap, Romulus. Vulcan. Romulus, Romulus is destroyed, is... and then the Romulans destroy Vulcan, mm-hmm. um, which is now part of the Star Trek Discovery mm-hmm. storyline. Um, but you had, uh, gatekeeping's been there forever, and it's, it's been, a, I bet you gatekeeping's been around since the days of, uh, like, peasants in castles like hawk i watched this i watched this play way before all you peons ever watched it you know no excuse me i'm going to shit in this pot <laughs> well, the worst part about it is is that i sit down and uh, it's like people go oh you know Michael Bay ruined Transformers for me. I'm like... First one is actually... Like, first one, he clearly likes Transformers, but as they go on, they're clearly more and more phoned in. Yeah, they're just... He loses his passion. But then Bumblebee came along at the end that he didn't... He just produced. He didn't Mm -hmm. direct. Mm -hmm. And I think Bumblebee is... Okay, it goes this way. It goes. It's the best Herbie movie, mate. It's ever the, made. Yeah, it's the best Herbie movie. The um, <laughs> it goes the original animated Transformers movie, <laughs> then Bumblebee, <laughs> then Transformers One. Um, it's like all they all they ended up being was later on is explosions. Also- also, Michael Bay is kind of a horrible person when you read into it. Yeah, I, they, I'm... they treated Megan Fox like shit. And the media treated her like shit. Like no, they looked at her thumbs and went freak. <laughs> no, I, I got but, nothing. But seriously, look, it's not a pleasant story to look. No, that's into. why. That's why they ended up giving her April O'Neil in the uh, um, because of the, when they they shit canned her from Transformers, they end up giving her uh, April O'Neil on you, uh, like they, Turtles. They like they half half the first and second movies are on like. Good fifty percent of that that film time that runtime is on Megan Fox's ass, and and then and then uh, Michael Bay tried to uh, out uh, be, try to be a progressive filmmaker. I, I empower women. And it's like he just all, all he wants to do is film asses. There was a there was a long ass shot in I think the second movie where it's like following one of the like the girls, and it's literally the entire time the camera's on her ass. And it's just the entire follow shot. It's hey, just like... Hey, hey, you know your audience. They're horny teenage boys. Uh, <laughs> and also horny 40-year-old <laughs> men. Yeah. I, one of these days I'll grow up. I figure that's the day they put me in the ground. Um, <laughs> I think I'm not going to be put in the ground, though. Um, me. Woo! I'll rise up from the ashes. Rawr! And then you'll kill all the Ewoks around you. <laughs> You know, okay, going back to this, wearing my full Stormtrooper uniform, you know why the Ewoks were able to catch Stormtroopers. Being a Stormtrooper is loud as shit. You're not being quiet doing anything. You can't, you can't walk because you're like, clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden you get smashed between two falling logs. You, have, have you, if any of you played the new EA Battlefront, oh shit, the... Here they come. Chipmunk Adventure Movie Meal Packs from Burger King. Wow. Four different packs, each with a special surprise. I love surprises. Chipmunk Meal Packs now at Burger King. Catch them if you can. It's Chipmunk Adventure Movie Toys at Burger King. Get Simon, Theodore, and... Alvin! Each $1.99 with any purchase. Chipmunk Toys now at Burger King. Collect all three. What a deal! 
The music! There's a new marshmallow animal inside Circus Fun cereal! What is it? Does it roar? Yes! Is it strong? Yes! Is it striped? Yes! And it'll make Circus Fun an even more spectacular part of this complete breakfast! Where's the new animal? In Circus Fun cereal! 